are by welcome back to channel my name is Cyrus. let's get this video started so we're still making our way through the phantom ship we need to heal shanna i'm a little low so we'll use that healing potion we'll slide in here for the um for the ghost boy spawn now we're gonna appear and you know Find ourselves a little jack in the box and get ourselves some loot. Except this is a ghosty boy. Yeah, I wonder what these skeletons are doing. Yeah, I wonder why they put skeletons in this room on the ground. Hmm. They don't normally do anything like that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, if you didn't see that one coming, come on. But, uh, I'm going to end this very quickly. Oh, I just realized I don't think I have my... Oh, I don't. Didn't have my hotkeys active. <laughs> oh my god, it did so much damage. Oh my god. Oh no. Jeez. Okay, we'll just use another dancing ray. I forgot to activate my turbo trigger button. Forgot to turn it on. It's fixed now. There we go. We have to heal again. <laughs> what a waste. Uh, that was close. That, yeah, it was close, actually. Actually true for once. And normally what happens there is it's like, it's just me curb stomping a few enemies. It's like, man, that was close. It's like, bro, we just stomped all over them. What do you mean that was close? Oh, yeah, you can run straight in there, by the way. You can slip right by them before they spawn. Alright, this time we've got one of the, um, oh, what are they called? Ow, bone throwing. And that hurts. Magician bogey. We're gonna start with a dancing ray where I hope the skills. Pretty sure the skeletons will die at the very least. The magician may not die. Oh, yeah, definitely not. Mm. Could have done a good chunk of damage though. Uh, he can't afflict status ailments, which is a little scary. So we're just going to straight Dragoon form and hopefully do a ton of damage with our uh, Dragoon attack. We are using the about as much damage as a magic item. Uh, we are using um, the light attack though. He's doing a ton of damage with his melee attacks. Jesus, and what is this HP? He has so much. Well, that's nearly 1800 damage, right? He's only in the yellow? That's crazy. This enemy is actually super dangerous. Oh my god, isn't there a fight with two of them later? I'm kind of spooked, to be honest. So they have a ton of HP, dear god. Uh, that's actually kind of scary. That's pretty worrisome. Oh yeah, but we get the magical hat. Mm. Mm, do we have a better option than the magical hat right now anyways? Some additions. I'm not sure we do. Uh, we lose a little bit of defense, but we get a bunch of magic attack and defense, along with a bunch of MP as well. 
Yeah, there's no reason for us to not use this, to be honest. We got one last one of these to do in here. Is it trying? It's it trying to say something. It's saying don't open this chest, but we gotta do it anyways. Recorded it. Recorded the chest, boys. And this time there's multiple ghosts. I'm going to immediately use a white silver dragoon and hope it just deletes them. Or white silver dragon. I just hope they die. I didn't heal. Uh, actually, let's get a little bit of MP, uh, SP up. Let's get some SP. We'll do two regular attacks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We got, we got an extra turn of SP, though. White Silver Dragon. Hopefully this just outright outright deletes them. I'm not sure how much damage the White Silver Dragon does in comparison to attack items. They're not dead. They're not dead. I'm like 99% certain about that. Because I just guesstimating based off that last fight, they should have like 2500 HP or something like that. Just guesstimating. Luckily we were, we were in Dagoon form. He's using the Star Children. Uh, hopefully, the Star Children just kills. If not, we can use an attack item on our next turn. Hopefully, if we get a next turn, they could totally charm us or something, and we just get rolled. This is actually a really dangerous fight solo. Okay, but we're good. They're dead. They're dead. Got another magic plant. Pretty sure those are guaranteed in hard and hell mode. Those are guaranteed drops. I have a favor to ask you. Please come to the captain's cabin. Alright, so the captain's cabin will now be unlocked for us. We're going to take advantage of this to get by these without anything, um, without getting into an encounter. Oh, I got stuck in the corner. I got stuck in the corner of the wall. Uh, I will take a chance to get some SP, though. And, uh, we'll go hit, hit up the in the hill spot, I guess. Yikes. Um. Yikes. Uh. Am I dead? I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, the miss? I was totally dead without that miss. 100%. I, I might still be dead, actually. I'm dead.
That's my own fault. That is totally my own fault. I should have healed. This area is really dangerous. Because even though we can do double damage to the enemies, like, they're just a bunch of, um, or not double damage, but, like, 1.5 times damage. Like, even though we do more damage, they, like, generally also do more damage to us, so. It's pretty dangerous even then. Even with all our extra damage. This time we won't let the fucking Scouter Boys do a bunch of damage to us because we mess up our item use. <laughs> Although I still need to use a healing potion. I forgot I um, when I saved that wasn't a full HP. Hopefully I go first. <sighs> okay, it's not that much though. We're only missing a little bit. So this will kill the skeletons. So we know we can kill the goat with the uh, the magicians with one white silver dragon and a um, and a star children. So that's good. Too slow. I messed up my movement on leaving me. Yikes. Oh, I forgot the hill. That's bad. Yikes. Come on, man. I really messed up. Dude, this area is so dangerous. Oh, I should have used Material Shield. I'm an idiot. Uh, I should have used Material Shield. What am I doing? That's three turns of safety. So they're just using physical damage attacks right now. I was hoping I could just run away. It's probably too dangerous to try it again. Put some below half, huh? I guess they're pretty squishy. Now they're using magic attacks, though. Here, yeah, that means we can pretty safely heal block against them. I should be fine. They're so fast. And that's one miss.
Can we use your green form to kill one of them? And um, then we'll heal block against the other. Or block heal, I mean. Let me get the other which way I would say it, right? You know what I mean. Wait, we'll, we'll spend some time healing against this guy. Because I have so few potions on me right now. Once we can get healing fogs, it'll be different, but... But now we can get healing fogs. There are the full heal, uh, the single, sorry, single target full heal items, if you don't know. I don't know if you're watching this video, I assume you know that. Probably a challenge run is not the best introduction to this game uh, for someone. <laughs> I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird this episode, I don't know why it is. Just, um, is my voice is just really hoarse today for some reason. I don't really know why. I really don't know why. This does. Okay, we're full HP. Pretty sure another shot kills. And what, they have like 600 and I think my shot's to like 150? He, sh he should have less than 150 left, I think. Yeah, he does. Oh, well, uh, I got my estimate wrong. Uh, it seems to have worked out fine, though. Total vanishing, huh? I wonder if that works on the magician bogeys. You know what? We're gonna find out. We're gonna test. I'm gonna go ahead and say... As I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and save. <laughs> I forgot the save anywhere thing is not something you can normally do. I could just run back and save, but I'm going to save us the time. We're just going to save right here. And I'm going to hope Total Vanishing works on the Magician bogey. I would assume it does. You can imagine the Magician is counted as a boss enemy. That's actually a pretty, that would be, since we happen to get that to drop, that's a pretty nice way to save us some time here if it works. Start out with a dancing ray to get rid of the skeletons. And then we'll check and see if, um, Total Vanishing works. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll, we'll use a material shield and start chipping them down. He's fast. This work? It does. Nice. I assumed it would. All right. Same thing as last time. We'll use one white silver dragon and um. Starlight Children. And that'll be the end of that. And then we'll save. We don't have to do it again. I've been doing these episodes so far where basically I only save like once per episode. Like, you know, I only save it like the end of the episode, but um, the game is getting more and more dangerous. So we're going to start dying more and more often. I need, so I need to start saving more and more often.
And the only way we could really make this any less dangerous for us is to one use some of the overpowered items or to just uh just just level up just do a lot of grinding level up which i don't really want to do either of those things if i don't have to so uh, those are our last resort yes well honestly leveling up is the last last resort because i don't want to just like get pure like go just like pure over level i'd rather use the items because at the very least they are something you do get in game like there is something you, that is there to use and i'm just kind of like arbitrarily restricting myself from using them for no real reason um it's just that's just what i decided to do i didn't put the magician hat on you know why i didn't put the magician hat on he didn't drop one did he That's kind of scary. Did using the uh, total vanishing mate make it so then get the magician hat? Well, we should get one from this fight anyway, so it'll be fine. Oh, they're not dead because I'm not using the magician out either, right? Uh, how many turns of Dragoon form do I have left? I should have three turns, right? Didn't I start with five? Yeah, okay. I should have built kill all three of them with like one more Dragoon shot. Yeah, we're good. We're good. The way we got here was a little more scuffed, but we're good. Unless we don't get a magician hat to drop. We definitely have to get a magician hat. There's no way we're skipping out on getting magician hat. It's way too strong of an item for us. magical hat you know what i mean yeah we got it though so let's pop a healing potion get out of here we will go ahead and save again I was trying to slip by there so hard and just, I just, I just failed miserably. Use the dancing ray and then we'll use one normal attack against each of the uh, flames. You know, I should have started with material shield. I should have used that first. Oh well. Wait, no. I'm not too worried about how much damage I take right here because we can, we can safely get back to the ship now.
That isn't death. I, for some reason, though, that would be enough to kill. I'm actually a little worried since it wasn't. But that's definitely enough, right? Yes. Good chance to get our SP back anyways. Well, we can also get us back to full SP. Just a little bit of block healing though, just, just for safety's sake. Nice miss. Save, we'll buy some more items. There isn't actually too much left to do with the Phantom Ship. Did a couple more things to do and we're done. Because, like I said, I'm not going to be doing the chest minigame. Just don't need to. We'll keep a few more of those. I don't need that many. We'll buy extra now in case we need them later, though. Didn't mean to do that. Then we gotta head up to the captain's cabin. I went there earlier thinking I was supposed to, but, uh... I went there a little too early. Accidentally ran backwards. Like an idiot. I might have to do two encounters there now. Okay, we'll start material shield. We we'll use one dancing ray. I really gotta start, uh, start making good use of that. Three turns of zero damage is just too good. Or zero physical damage at least. That's actually enough to kill all but one of the eyeballs. While not risking any physical damage. Oh yeah, we're still taking magical damage, but it's not as big of a deal. here. 
because our um, our shield is actually already expired, so I'm going to use a speed up. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have um, just killed that one eye. I think I'll probably end this at full HP regardless. I'm close to it at least. I'm really not used to being so reliant on items in combat in this game. Uh, so it's really hard for me to adjust to uh, actually using them so often. I'll get used to it though. The repeatables are definitely uh, really, really strong in this uh, in this run. Wow, fortune of a beautiful woman. Seems like the it seems like the queen of some country. It goes by itself. Please help me. Hmm. He killed the crew, nanny, knights, me. And the newborn princess. Him, the black monster. What? This was done by the black monster too? We couldn't protect the princess, so we couldn't finish dying. Please destroy the fear. Please send the souls of the knights to rest. Ah! Possible to fully die. He killed people for no reason. These items. Get the key of the phantom ship. It's just some gold. We'll definitely take the gold though. We're going to need it in the future. We're not really in too bad need of gold right now, but we probably will be in the future. Is there any way to slip through these without an encampment? No. No way to get through there without an encampment. Yeah. Before we'll start with material shield. And material shield plus therapy ring is pretty crazy. It's just like, um... Because, you know, most enemies in this game can use magic attacks, but they usually won't use them until they're um, at least full of half HP, right? This is pretty normal. Pretty standard for this game. Like, most enemies are like this. So the ability to start the fight, um... Being immune to physical damage while also having really high magic defense, right? So even when they do use their magic attacks, they're not going to be doing as much damage, right? But I can basically just sa safely chip away at them without really worrying about taking too much damage. It's really, really nice. This run, it was probably impossible without the material shield. This next encounter could be pretty dangerous. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I'll say before we do it, just in case. Just in case. 
It could be dangerous. Hard to say. The way I expect this next fight to go is I get as the fight starts, I go into the dragoon form, I use white silver dragon and I win. Because all the enemies in the next boss fight are all dark element. So I do tons so I'll do tons of damage to them. But there is a possibility that isn't the case, and it could be a problem because um, even with 150 MP, we can only use one white silver dragon. We won't give you Princess Luvia. Rose. We'll protect her even if it costs our lives. Did. Counting 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth to fill the world with holy bliss. However, what was actually brought was the child of destruction, the black monster. We are witnessing a tragedy from the past. It's awful. Why did it have to do this? The black monster. How much does he have to kill before he satisfies himself? Stop it. Sorry. What was I thinking? Let's move on. You want to know, don't you? So, you know, that is, um, if you haven't seen this game's story before, I guess I won't say anything. If you do know, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Although, just saying that might be a little um, leading. And this next fight will probably be pretty easy. We'll see. I'm pretty sure it'll be easy. Hmm? You black monster. How dare you come here pursuing Princess Olivia? But as long as we are here with her, we're not going to give her up. We're not the black monster, we are. How dare you, monster, using human words to fool us? <laughs> Unforgivable. Even if it costs my life, I won't give up our Princess Luvia. Alright, let's get him. This fight can uh, be kind of difficult if you're not using a bunch of area of effect attack items or stuff like that. Because, um... Oh my god, the damage! Because the way this fight works is you have to kill all of them, right? You have to kill like all of them, basically. At pretty much the same time, or they'll keep arriving. It can actually be a pretty difficult fight if you don't know what you're doing. Or you just come really unprepared. It's normally just a simple, um, just using some attack items is more than enough to just steamroll this fight. And it's in fact probably the main reason you can just easily buy them right outside the door to this fight. But as you can see, I don't think we even need to worry about that in our case, because we just did like 3200 damage to these guys. Oh, he's not dead though. That couldn't be a problem. That's not an instant kill, right? No, it's half HP. It always does half your HP. Wow, he is only half. How much damage is this? Only 500. Yikes. They're already getting back up? Oh no. We're gonna lose.
I need to use a I need to use an MP restore right now. But they're going to start attacking. If I can get another white silver dragoon off, white silver dragon off, we're good. That's that's a big if at the moment. We have to get we're going to get pretty lucky. Okay, he's going to do half our HP again. It's not half your max HP, it's half of your current HP. Oh wait, no, he's doing... Oh, he's doing the hill. Doesn't matter. Okay, we're good. We win. We win. If those knights had started going, though, it was over. Literally, um... What RNG we got on turn order determined us winning or losing that fight because I didn't well I to be fair it's my first attempt right it's, it's this is the first attempt losing it wouldn't have been too bad even with how much of an advantage we have in this fight it should be it yeah I just heard him die we're good Easy. Wow, we're already 42 minutes into the into the video though. Six thousand XP. Level 30 now. We're getting up there in level. Princess? Princess! Hannah! It's over. There is no more black monster. Oh, please. Suffer no more. You... You are. I... Thank God. You made it. Princess Luvia. Wait. There's still something I don't know about? Hmm? Door is open. Okay, normally I would finish the bit of dialogue that's left here, but dude, my 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 uh my voice is so hoarse right now. So we're going to stop here for today, guys. We'll finish the rest of the the story bit on uh, the Phantom Ship next episode when hopefully I'm not so hoarse. But um yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.